Hello, hello, and welcome to the Delaware Blogger Podcast. I'm your host, Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger. And every week I come to you with podcasting pointers that will help you to share your mission and your vision just using your voice. A new episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast publishes every Saturday at 10 a.m. And if you wish to sponsor a show, please send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com. Again, a welcome to the Delaware Blogger Podcast. Listen in and share with a friend. Grow your show with a CTA. That's right. It seems like everyone and their mother and brother is starting a podcast these days. However, the biggest pain point is how to grow your show so that you stay motivated to record a new episode every week. So we're going to talk about CTAs or calls to action because they are vital. They tell your listeners what to do next or how to connect with you and A CTA or call to action is a marketing tool that helps your listeners perform a specific action. Are you ready to join the billion dollar podcasting industry? If so, Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio is ready for you. Whether you're just starting out and have no equipment or you are a seasoned pro but need help with production, Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio has everything you need. Conveniently located in Middletown, Delaware, Blake's state-of-the-art production facilities make producing your first or 100th podcast a breeze. No matter what kind of project you have in mind, the professionals at Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio can help with your production or give you the tools to produce it on your own. At the heart of Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio is award-winning blogger, vlogger, and CEO Antoinette Blake. And her goal is simple, to help one more entrepreneur be successful. So stop making excuses and start making your podcast, audiobook, e-course, and other online dreams come true. Call Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio now, 302-261-3530. That's 302-261-3530. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Delaware Blogger Podcast. I'm your host, Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva A a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger, a multi-award winning blogger, blogger, podcast host, and professional speaker. I'm also the CEO of A. Blake Enterprises Social Media Marketing and Consulting, and I bring you weekly podcast episodes on podcasting that will help you to broaden your brand and expand your exposure by simply using your authentic voice. And today's episode is number 306, Grow Your Show with a CTA. What is a CTA? What is a call to action? Simply put, a podcast call to action or CTA is a request for your listeners to do something. It could be something like requesting that they visit your blog, like dellblogger.com, or your website, like ablakeenterprises.com. Buy something. What are you selling merch? Leave a review, endorse, follow up, subscribe, share, even sign up. It's a simple, short and sweet request. Remember, don't ask for too many things or make it too complicated because people will be turned off. A CTA doesn't mean that your listeners are going to follow your instructions and convert. And oftentimes they won't. But if they listen to it and hear it several times, eventually they may take action, which is why it's important that you include a CTA in each and every episode and preferably at the end of the episode. But don't feel as though you're being redundant and you, know, you don't want to keep repeating yourself because you know what? You have to do it, right? You're going to be getting new listeners for each and every show. And I bet you they might not have heard the CTA on episode three and now you're on episode 30. You've got to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Calls to action. They're used in sales and marketing. People ask for your email address, right? So you can say, sign up for our newsletter. Maybe you're promoting an event or an activity. 
you can say, hey, get your voucher order or your code here. You can be giving away information like checklists. You know, I give away that seven step checklist or you can tell people, hey, download my new ebook. So you want to make sure that you're including a CTA in your podcast because it will help you to grow your show. Now, to have an effective CTA, it needs to stand out and make an impact. It needs a pop. It has to be action, you know, make it a sense of urgency or FOMO, fear of missing out. But it has to be concise and clear. And whatever it is that you're asking people to do and you're promising them something else, make sure that you deliver on your promise. Use the KISS strategy. Keep it simple. S, <laughs> you know, I'm not calling anybody that S word, but you know, it should be something that's easy to do. For example, download my free guide to, or take the quiz on my website to learn about your, perhaps something like listen to my podcast and give them the episode number that talks about whatever it is you want them to listen to. Use the link in the show notes to visit. How about follow me on whatever platform? Email me at share this episode with a friend. Subscribe and write a review if you found this useful. Please tag me in a tweet with your questions about. And of course, if you want more information, blah, 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 right? You don't want to sound redundant or naggy and braggy, but you can also record different variations of your CTA and then just drop them into your podcast like ads. So if you feel like you're asking the same thing over and over again, do it, but you can change it up, change up the script, or you can create a template, right? To add that to your intro, um, your outro, just make sure it's in there. Some podcasters prefer to say the same thing over and over again, and you can tweak it slightly just to, you know, make it a little unique. But the thing is your podcast, a call to action can help you grow your audience and your revenue. If that's what you're looking for and trust and believe after a while, it's going to feel normal. It's going to become routine. And you'll see your numbers start to increase and you'll be glad that you included a CTA in your show. But before I go, I'm going to ask you a question. What types of calls to action do you use? Are you using them on all your social media platforms, including your blog posts, your podcasts, your social media platforms, and your newsletters? If you are, let me know. And if you enjoy these podcasting pointers that I bring you weekly, helping you to grow your show, I'm going to ask that you leave me a review on Apple. I'd appreciate it. And guess what? I'll even read them on the show. And today I'm reading one from my good friend, Chloe Ray Simmons. She said, great information. Very good information. This episode was good a good reminder as to what we should all be doing on social media. Antoinette is a great resource for information on all things social media and podcasting, and she has great energy. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. And I'm going to say thank you, Chloe Ray, for sharing your talents of beautiful clothes. You need to check out her website. I'm going to leave it in the link. So I'm going to ask you, if any of this information that I covered today has been of interest to you, please leave a comment and a review. And if you know someone that could use this information too, please share it. Remember, sharing is caring. So share it with your family, your friends, your bae, and your boo too. And you can always find and follow me on all my social media platforms using the link tree ID, A Blake Enterprises. You can send an email to info at A Blake Enterprises. And you know what? Put in the subject line, free seven-step podcasting checklist, and I'll get it to you in a swiftness.
So there's a new episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast every Saturday at 10 a.m. And you can tune in to Out and About with Antoinette on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. That's where I'm doing interviews of some great people. And you can hear that on iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, or any other podcasting platform that you are subscribed to. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, stay smart, stay safe, and stay social, because I will see you in cyberspace. See ya. It's the D.E. Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger, wishing you and yours a beautifully blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you all for listening to today's episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast. And if you found anything that I've said of interest to you, please subscribe and share it with others. You may even want to leave a rating or review and check out a few other episodes, too. I invite you to subscribe to my blog, AdeleBlogger.com, where you'll find more podcasting pointers and blogging tips and links to purchase a copy of the basic blogging tips for beginners or podcasting your purpose resource guide on Amazon. I invite you to send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com to schedule a 15-minute complimentary discovery call or to enroll in the five-week podcasting coaching session. So until the next time, this is the D.E. Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger, wishing you and yours a beautifully blessed day. And remember, sharing is caring. So please share this episode of the Delaware Blogger podcast with your friends, your family, your bae, and your boo, too. See ya. It's the D.E. Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger.